Hey Vikes, today we have a story about the new schedule in the Vikettes. I'm Allie and you're watching SBTV. Many of you have heard about the new schedule for next year. Let's learn more about it. Hey Vikes, you may have heard about the new schedule that's being implemented next year. I went around to different teachers, the principal, and different students to find out more about it. So what we're going to is, right now we have eight class periods, um, however one of them is seminar. So you have seven classes and then a whole 90 minute block of seminar. The new schedule will be actually eight classes and then you will have seminar every day uh, for 40 minutes right after lunch time. Mr. Monahan believes that the new schedule will be beneficial for students and will allow students to take an extra class and have more seminar time every day. Over the last two years we've really been adding a lot of content as far as classes that students can take. Uh, whether that be pathway classes, we've gone from nine to 25 different pathways or more dual credit opportunities and or could also be support classes like math lab and that type of thing so we have more and more opportunities and the idea was if we took seminar and turned it into a class then students could have eight classes uh, in their s each semester versus only seven and then we would take 40 minutes of seminar time and make that each day so that students could get seminar each day and then also be able to take an additional class each semester some teachers, however, such as Mrs. Calhoun, believe that the new schedule will limit class time and interactions with students. Um, I taught on a rolling block schedule for a few years when I worked at Topeka High School. Um, and then we switched away from that to actually a modified block schedule, kind of like what we have here, but we actually had more Viking days. I really was happy when we went away from the rolling block schedule, actually. I found that we were able to cover a lot more material when we weren't doing a rolling block schedule. And I just really like to be able to see my students um, at least three times a week. We also talked to several students in the high school to get their opinions on the new schedule. I feel like the new schedule is great because um, I'm not particularly a fan of Viking days. Plus block days give us more time to learn and more time to do work in class. I like that we have like 40 minutes of each seminar and it's every day so that'll help get work done. As you can see, there are plenty of different opinions about the new schedule, but we'll have to wait until next year to see how it'll go. This is Augie Chappas signing off for SVTV. Enjoy the last couple of months with this current schedule. In snowball news, tonight's theme is Viking Pride. Between the girls and boys game will be the crowning for king and queen. During halftime of the boys game, Sam Payne will be invited to play in the Shrine Bowl. And tomorrow from 7.30 to 10.30 will be the dance. Make sure to bring $5 and an ID. ACT prep classes are going on right now. Each class is $10. Check Schoology for more information. Battle of the Bands is on February 6th. Tickets will be for sale during lunches for $3 or $5 at the door. The Vikettes recently had a competition. Let's check it out. The Vikettes had a competition this past weekend. The competition is at Olathe South this weekend, and we start at 8, and we get done around 3. They brought several dances. Um, we're competing four, and then we have four soloists. Last year, we did really well at K-Spec, and the, our underclassmen years, we did pretty well, but last year was probably our strongest year. They attended a new competition this year with past year's victories. It'll definitely be different, but we'll just have to adjust. There's some new Kansas City teams that we haven't really seen, but I think that if we go in confident and strong, we should do pretty well. In the end, the Vikettes won the highest award. They perform the famous boy-girl dance tonight. Come out and support. We'll head over to Josh after this quick commercial break. Boy, do I sure love chili. He sure does love chili. If only there's a place he could get some. Oh wait, there is. This Friday from 4.30 to 6.30, the Band Booster Club is sponsoring a chili feed. 
and it's only five dollars. Only five dollars? Behold the power of the five dollar bill. For only five dollars you get chili, a cinnamon roll, and a drink. Remember, this Friday, February 1st, from 4.30 to 6.30, right here at Seaman High School. Grab a chili and help support the band. Attention! 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 One night only! Wednesday, February 6th. Live at the Seaman High School Auditorium. Battle of the Band! Live rock and roll! Doors at 6.30, show at 7 p.m. Battle of the Bands! Featuring... Femme Fatale! Kevin! Right Side Down! Untamed Mustang! <laughs> Wet Gravel! $3 in advance. $5 at the door. We'll sell you the seat, but you won't need it because you'll be on your feet all, all night, night long. long. Battle of the Bands! Do you have a gently used stuffed animal? If so, come donate one at the boys' basketball game. I loved you once, now somebody else can. Come join the Teddy Bear Toss donation during halftime at the boys basketball game versus Topeka West on Tuesday, February 12th. The stuffed animals will be going to the Kansas Highway Patrol. It's Friday, and you know what that means. Groundhog Day is tomorrow. So let's take a look at your Groundhog Comfort Index for tomorrow. We're calling for a 10 out of 10. Now this also applies to other animals, including cows. So keep that in mind as we head into the day tomorrow. They're going to be loving this warmer weather, and it's probably going to be enough to cancel school this weekend. Now, we are introducing a chance for precipitation coming up next Wednesday and Thursday. Here's the latest look at it. You can see some of those mixer of colors. Maybe you can't see this, but there's uh, blue, purple, pink, green, yellow. What that means for us is a wintry mix of precipitation. It's going to be light. We expect most of the precipitation to stay to our south, but there's at least a chance we'll be dealing with a little rain or snow coming up next Wednesday or Thursday. And now for your SVTV 7 day forecast, you can see that we are still calling for highs in the mid to upper 50s this weekend. Any rain chance is going to be limited to just a little patchy drizzle or a few sprinkles. So we've removed that from our 7 day forecast. And then yes, the cold weather does come back next Tuesday and especially next Thursday as highs fall back into the 20s and 30s along with that chance for some snow. Now, even though ground, Groundhog Day is tomorrow, we have to look scientifically to see how February is going to be. And let me tell you, it is looking cold and pretty snowy through the month of February. Allie, back to you. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Have a great snowball weekend.